Hi, it's Marianne, your Valiant Technology Training Manager. You've probably heard me talk about Teams a lot lately and how it's great for collaboration and being able to connect people in your office, even if you're not in the same location. So we're going to go over making a virtual event for our staff, uh, but we're going to do it a little bit of a fun event. We're going to host a virtual Dungeons and Dragons session. Uh, and we're going to use Teams to set it up, to host it, to run through it, and everything. And I'm going to have you guys with me on the journey and all the steps that are going. I hope this will give you a good example of how to set up your own event. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is go on Teams and see if there's any interest in a Dungeons & Dragons session. Uh, so I'm going to go into Teams. I'm going to go into the tribe. This is our main team that all of Valiant is in included in. So you can see there's 34 people subscribed to this. And then I have to decide which channel I want it in. I could do general because everyone is looks at general, but I think I'm going to do random because this way I can. it's a little less serious and I wouldn't feel bad about at mentioning everyone. So I'm going to do at random. And this is going to make it so there's a notification at the bottom for everyone in the channel. Um, and then I'm just going to ask, is anyone interested in a Dungeons and Dragons? Let me change that to Virtual Dungeons and Dragons. Great. So you can see this little icon here says that channel was mentioned. So anyone who subscribes to this channel got a little pop-up notification just as if I sent them a direct message. Uh, and hopefully we'll be getting some responses soon. So we'll see how that goes. Cool, it's only been about 10 minutes and I've already got a bunch of responses. Um, and I'm realizing that I wanna make sure that we pick a date together and instead of having sort of a back and forth, back and forth, I think I'm gonna set up a poll. So, oh look, I got a new one and it popped up at the bottom just now. Uh, so let's set up a poll. I've already added the poly integration. If you wanna add integrations to Teams, you click the add a new tab. You can search for ones that you want, but right here, poly is one of the ones that usually ends up at the top. Uh, but since we already have it, I am just going to click on the Poly tab. And from there, you'll be able to see a couple of polls that we've done before. Um, is it Poly? Not Poly? It's got to be Poly because it's a, it's a bird. Anyway, let's create a new poll. So audience is going to be random because that's where we started this conversation. We can choose when to close the poll. I'm actually going to make it Monday. Uh, and we can do Monday night also. Let's do Monday at 6, send the poll now, question multiple choice. And I'm going to write, what day next week do you want to have? D and D. I'm going to enter Monday, Tuesday, click, click, add choice, Wednesday, but spelled correctly. Thursday, and I'm busy Friday, so I'm not going to add that one. Uh, I'm going to allow multiple votes so that people don't have to pick one day over the other. And then I'm going to allow it. So let's see, comments on poll, totally. Show results in real time, yep. And non-anonymous, I want to know who is voting. So let's preview. Looks good to me. Send. You can see it's posted now. It's right below our chat uh, about what we're going to be doing. And what day next week do you want to have it? Already got one vote. Uh, let's see. I want Tuesday as well. You know what? I'm okay with Wednesday and Thursday more than Monday. Yeah. Let's add all of those. So now a bunch of votes have been counted already. Uh, no one picked Monday. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. And uh, yeah. So that's a poll, and we're going to see what the results are later. So it occurs to me that Dungeons & Dragons is very episodic, meaning we're probably going to play more than once. And there is a lot of information that I'd like to keep in one place. Since we're doing this through Teams, I'm going to make a new team for that. So let's go back to Teams. I'm going to go down to the bottom to join or create a team. I'm going to create team here, not join one of the new ones. I can either do it from one that already exists, use that as a template, but I'm going to build a new one from scratch, uh, public, because anyone in my, hang on, I'm going to show you that a little, 
anyone in my organization can join or people need permission to join. So this matters if you have sensitive information you're going to be discussing. But this one's public. God, I hope I spelled lounge right. <laughs> okay. Skip this for now, but I am going to end up adding the people who uh, joined this. And then we'll go down to my TV and I'm going to make a new channel. I want to make a Dungeons and Dragons specific channel. So dot, 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 add channel. There we go. Now let's see things that we can add to this. Okay, so I've done some customization on this team's, uh, the channel. You can see I have the Valiant Lounge, I made a channel. I'm actually going to change this logo and I wanted to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go and click the dot dot dot, click manage team up here, I can change the logo. And then I'm just gonna upload a picture that I had ready for this. And it just makes it a little bit more identifiable when you're looking from team to team. So back to my channel, my Dungeons and Dragons channel. I made a couple of tabs at the top that I think will be helpful. We have a files tab, which right now has the world map, our notes, and blank character sheets. I did also put a link to a website up here, which is the Dungeons and Dragons website that has some resources available. Then I also put the world map on here as an image. So this is just a drawing that was made uh, of this world that we're playing in. So keeping new tabs at the top uh, really helps you keep everything in one place. So I'm gonna show you how. I'm going to actually add one more tab. I'm gonna do a OneNote, and I'm gonna use this based on a notebook that I've already created. Um, so if you want to, you can create a new notebook from here, but I already made D&D &D notes and I'm gonna pick, make this into a tab. So I click Save. And the only thing I have in here right now, it's gonna slowly load it, is the backstory. So this is like what you need to know before we start playing. But soon we'll have different uh, sections in it. It will be like last time on D&D, &D. here's what we did last time, if you don't remember, because maybe it'll be a week, maybe it'll be a month between sessions. So that's gonna be up here and we can go back to the very beginning, we have our conversation, we have our files, we have our online resources, we have our world map, and we have our notes. That was easy enough, right? And then all the conversation is going to happen right here. There actually isn't conversation yet because I haven't invited anybody yet. I'm going to go here, I'm going to add members, and then I'm going to put in the names of the people who responded that they were interested in Teams before. So. I'm uh, just going to add a couple of people that I know said they were interested. Great, so all these people are now have gotten uh, invitations. Now if there's someone that I wanted to be an owner, just like me, they can invite new people, they can delete channels, they can make all the changes, they could change that image that I just made, so I can change one of these people to an owner if I want to. Um, and I will do that right here. There we go. And I can also kick people out if I want. Ooh. It's been a few days and I wanna see what the results of our poll were. Um, so if I go to Teams, I know that I posted in the random channel, I can either just click the poly, poly up at the top and I can look at my poll results here or I could have scrolled up and saw when I last posted it. But here we go. What day next week do you wanna have D&D? &D? It looks like Thursday one, um, by just a smidge over Tuesday. If you want to, you can view all results. You can see all the names of the people who voted. There were 20 votes in total. Great, and it's gonna, this quiz is gonna to close today at in the evening. So let's get started with putting this event together then, shall we? I'm going to make a Teams meeting invite because we're actually gonna have the meeting across Teams meetings. So there are a couple ways you can do this. I usually like to do it straight from Outlook, but I'm gonna show you the way to do it from Teams. Uh, in Outlook, you just make an event like you normally would and you can click add Teams meeting. But I'm gonna do it from my calendar. I'm gonna click plus new meeting. This is going to be 
Okay, the date we said was Thursday. I'm going to do it for right after work, which I'm actually going to make this 5.45, give people a little chance to actually get out of work. And we'll make it run for, let's say, an hour 45. Give people some time to have dinner afterwards. Uh, does not repeat. We don't know if it's going to be every Thursday yet, but if you wanted to, you could do uh, weekly, daily, monthly, if we did it once a month. Uh, so that's something you can do. And I am not going to add a channel. So I'm going to scroll down to my The Valiant Lounge, which I created, and the Dungeons and Dragons channel. Okay, I put a little description. There's no location because we're doing this all virtually, but you could be putting in, like, if some people were meeting in person in one of your rooms, you would put that there. I've got my time zone. I can also look at scheduling assistant, which is really helpful if I wanted to specifically invite the people that I wanted to come. Okay. You could go to scheduling assistant and see what everyone's schedule is like, what they're working on, all that stuff. And I'm going to send. And you can see it right down here. All right, there it is. Uh, so I'll check back with you on Thursday. But you can see it right here, it's on this calendar, which means it's also on my Outlook calendar. Okay, so today is the day for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, there is going to be two places where you, you will see this. If you make a Teams meeting, it's going to automatically put it into your Outlook calendar, and you can join by going there. Or what I prefer is go straight to the te to Teams, go to the calendar section, and then there'll be a join button for the thing that you want to join. What's nice is when there is a large number of people, it recommends for you to join muted so you don't interrupt the meeting. But I'm going to unmute because I'm the GM. So let me join now and see who's in. Oh, well, maybe I'll do that too. I'm sorry. Hey guys. Hi, Mary. Oh, I was like, is that I did. Hey guys, welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. We're going to do a little background on the D&D &D, and then we'll get this session started. And we can use the whiteboard if we need to put up anything as well. So let's get started. Okay, great. So Dungeons and Dragons session was last night, and I think it was a huge success. Uh, we didn't re record throughout the whole session because, I mean, we're not critical role. We're not going to show you everything that we did, but I want to show you where that stuff exists now, and you can actually see some of the stuff we did anyway. So there are two places where it exists. One is you can go to Teams. You can go to the calendar and it'll be in there, or it's actually in the chat because I included the channel as part of my invitation. So when I click this, it shows you this was the regular invite, but we can look at the chat that happened during the meeting. And you can see if I scroll up, we have a picture of one of the characters. This is the background uh, information, which one of our uh, players read out loud. We've got a couple of roles that the, they were trying to prove to me. I linked to a YouTube video for everyone to get some ambient noise and some of the art that went with that. We went into a, a, a tavern. So we just added some visuals to everyone to see a couple of roles. We used the whiteboard feature when we were in combat and we, I was able to draw where what the room looked like. I was able to draw what where the locations were where you can see the little X's and green were the two orcs that we were uh, trying to battle. We took meeting notes for the meeting, uh, which were saved here under meeting notes. It's its own uh, note application. And here I wrote down everyone's character names, what their class is, and what happened. So it's something we can refer back to when we do last time on Dungeons and Dragons. And it was a lot of fun. A lot of people got into it. So that just shows you one way that you can stay connected and have virtual events and have all your information all in one place. So thanks for watching this video walkthrough. I hope it inspired you to have your own virtual events using Microsoft Teams. Um, it's a great way to have everything in one place and a great way to meet with multiple people at once via video chat, screen sharing, whiteboarding, and more. Okay, check out our other videos at thevaliantway.com or our YouTube channel. Thanks.